Hey guys, I'm Leia, and just like many of us living in the city, my husband and I just want to escape every now and then. So we started looking for tiny homes and tiny getaways that are just a few hours away from Metro Manila. So in this one, let's take a look at a container tiny house in Cavite. It's so easy to fall in love with this tiny house because it looks similar to those that we see in Tiny House Nation. E kami ni Jamie, my husband, we love that show. We watch it all the time, which is probably why we booked this place, which is very new, by the way. This tiny house is only a month old. It's a pleasant surprise because it looks really small when you're outside, but once you go inside, it's quite spacious for a tiny house or baka maliit din lang talaga ako kaya parang malaki yung feeling. It also helps that there's a lot of natural light coming in because of the glass doors and the windows. At the main floor, you have the kitchen, the living room, and the bathroom. Now, if you love to cook, matutuwa ka because the kitchen is equipped with all the basics. My ref, microwave, rice cooker, my stove, all you need so you can cook and eat here. And for the coffee addicts like myself, they even have a coffee nook na may beans, so flowing yung coffee, which is great kasi we're in Tagaytay area, so malamig, and they're really known for cupping barako. Now, the sink itself may not have enough counter space, so if you're doing some serious cooking, there's a collapsible table here that you can use for your preps. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with this. Nakita nyo na siguro ito sa ibang tiny homes. And it's great. It works. Siyempre, dapat space saver yung mga gamit. The living room is underneath the main loft bedroom, which we'll see later. Now, my husband is pretty tall. He's 5'10", pero hindi naman niya kailangan yung mukok to fit. Although, sobrang konti na lang talaga nung headroom niya. You have a couch, a TV with Netflix. So yes, may internet dito. And there's this huge LG speaker. So if you want to Netflix and chill, pwedeng pwede. I am not a designer, but this area gives me a nice boho vibe because of the plants, the rattan rug, the use of wood furniture and decor. It's very nice and relaxing. And this is also the spot of our fur baby, Nimi. We brought her bed so she can stay with us while we watch TV. And that's actually one of the main reasons why we booked this place. They're dog friendly. When we posted photos when Jamie and I first got here, our friends asked us, Oh, kamusta naman yung bathroom situation? Well, guys, you just have to slide this barn door, bato, this barn door, and that's a bathroom. It's a decent size, very clean. You have the sink with a vanity mirror, the toilet, and the shower, and thank goodness my heater because it gets pretty cold here at night. In fact, kahit na air-conditioned yung place, we didn't turn it on. Nakakumot pa kami matulog. Now, speaking of sleep, let's head to the loft. So, this tiny container home has two loft bedrooms, so it sleeps a total of four. We opted to stay in what we call the main one kasi yun yung may stairs, so mas madali umakyat. It's very simple. You get a bed, a fan if you need one, and there's a hanging plant for accent. We slept very well, comfortable siya. Again, masarap, malamig, cuddle weather. And there are also windows to let light in, and you can open it too for better circulation. To get to the second loft bedroom, there's a ladder. The setup is very similar, syempre, because it's a loft, the ceiling is low, but I'm tiny, so that's not a problem. For taller people, you may have to stoop down a bit. Now, if you'd notice, there isn't really a lot of storage for clothes, and that's okay because this is an Airbnb, so pang short stays lang talaga. Siyempre, it's gonna be a different story if you really intend to live in a tiny house long term. Now that's it for the inside of this tiny house. Now let's move outdoors where the nice picnic table is. Dito kami kumakain. Now, Nimi, our dog, was free to move around without a leash because it's completely enclosed so you're not worried about your pets running off. And there's also enough room for a sedan to park. But if you think that the outdoor area is charming in the morning, then you should see it at night. They have lights set up which illuminate and give the place a nice chill vibe. We hung out here last night. Bring a jacket, guys. It's October. Medyo malamig na. E paano pa kaya pag January or Feb, di ba? Anyway, this is it. Our first taste of tiny house living. Now, if you're considering the lifestyle but you're not ready to commit 100%, parang kami ni Jamie, this is a great way to test it out. And the entire place 
is 5,000 pesos per night for two people and you can book them via Airbnb or their FB page. i leave the link down below for you guys to check out. I hope you enjoyed our tiny tour of this tiny house, guys. And please also subscribe because in the next video, we'll be checking out another tiny house, but this time it's an A-frame in Subic. So see you in the next video. Bye!